People will tell you that the ridiculously nice car that you want is pretentious. Just remember that everyone is always going to have something to say and they're really only going to judge you until you make it. And once you make it, they're going to be like, please tell me how you did that. A lot of us dream about what it would be like to drive a fancy car, own a vacation home on the beaches of Hawaii, go on super luxurious vacations, meet the person of our dreams, or simply just you know, have a couple million in the bank. But when it comes down to it, we don't actually believe that these things are possible. So instead, a lot of us just settle for a mediocre life. But what if I told you these things are in fact possible? It's possible to own your dream vacation home or just dream home in general. It's possible to go on a $20,000 luxury vacation to Greece. It's possible to buy that car that feels out of reach to meet the person of your dreams or to build up a net worth of multiple millions of dollars. And in fact, it's actually not that complicated. It really just takes three simple steps to achieve them. All you need to do is start by taking the first step. So here it is. Here's how to create your dream life in three easy steps. Step one is to identify what you truly, truly want and desire in life. I know a lot of us can have these really ambiguous dreams in life. Things like I want to be rich or I want to own a second home. Those are kind of ambiguous dreams if you think about it. You need to be super, super specific about the things that you want in your life that would make you feel like you have achieved your dream life. And these things should be things that you are are super emotionally connected to things that warm your heart or fill your soul not just like again I want to be rich but specifically like I want to own a beach house in Hawaii on this specific island on the side of the island because a beach house on Kauai on the west coast or whatever is my happy place. It's where I have seen so many sea turtles and just be super, super connected to the things that you actually want. All right, so how do you even go about identifying the things that you really, really, truly want in life? Well, it's gonna take some time of brainstorming, thinking about it, and then actually really connecting with those things. So there's two kind of main ways that I have done this in the past. The first one is through creating a vision board. Actually, created a vision board for myself earlier this year after I got laid off and I was kind of trying to like reconnect with myself and re figure out what my goals were my ambitions and things I really wanted to shoot for this year that's one way to do it because it kind of forces you to go you know actually get photos of specific things that you want to attract into your life whether that be a nice new car then go find pictures of the exact car that you want if it's to go on a super luxurious vacation don't be ambiguous and say I want to go on a luxurious vacation go get photos of the place you want to go to and photos of flying first class to that location by creating a vision board you're able to actually like visibly see it and therefore really connect with your goals that way if you're not really into vision boards that's okay but another way that i've done this is by just kind of sitting down brainstorming and writing it down on paper writing it out what i'll do is i'll write down like i want to buy a three million dollar house on the west coast beach of Kauai or something along those lines lines and I will do that for a bunch of different things like the type of car that I want to drive, the amount of money I want to have in my bank account, the size of the family that I want to eventually have one day, the amount of YouTube subscribers I want to have. I will write down all of the things that I really really want and I will be as specific as I can about it. And the other important thing that I want to emphasize in this step one of identifying your goals, identifying your dreams is that it's so important to let go of the how. Let's use my YouTube channel for an example. My goal that I set myself for this year was to have 10 thousand YouTube subscribers by the end of 2023. We're like mid-October right now. I'm just over 9,000 subscribers right now, which side note, that's absolutely crazy to say and insane. So grateful for that. But when I started my YouTube channel, I was really envisioning having, you know, lifestyle vlogs, doing a lot of health and fitness related content, what I eat in a day and that type of thing. But those videos like really just haven't done that well for me. The videos that have done well for me are videos like this one, where I'm talking about ways to improve your life, how to chase your dreams, videos where I'm talking about like personal finance, financial wellness, how to set yourself up for a successful, wealthy life. And now as I am about about two and a half months away from reaching the end of the year, I am most likely going to hit my goal, but the way that I am getting there is not what I originally expected. It's because I have really focused on leaning into financial wellness and those videos that are working really well for me that I actually have been able to continue to grow my channel. So to summarize step one overall, identify what you truly, truly want in life. Be as specific as you can. Write it down in a journal or put it on a vision board. Then let go and trust that they will come to you in a matter of time and be open to the way 
way in which we want to receive them. All right, so now that we've identified our goals, we're super specific, crystal clear on them, and we know why we want them. Step two is to start taking action. The age old saying by John C. Maxwell is true here. Your dreams don't work unless you do. And I very, very strongly believe this one. You simply cannot expect to meet the spouse of your dreams by sitting on your couch. You simply cannot expect to build multiple income streams that are generating you seven figures by watching Netflix every night. And you really can't expect to go on a super luxurious dream vacation without taking the necessary steps to save up for it, plan for it, and make it happen. The bottom line is if you want your dreams to come to fruition, then you must take action. Once you identify these things that would make you feel like you are living your dream life, take one of the things and start breaking it down into actionable steps. So for example, let's say one of the things on your list that will give you your dream life is to go on a super luxurious trip to Italy. So some of the steps that you might take here are one, start researching, figure out exactly everything that you need to do in order to go on this trip. What is the cost of flights? What type of excursions do you want to go on? Where do you want to stay? What are the villas look like? Then step two would be figure out exactly how much all of those things cost. Add it all up. How much is a first class ticket on a flight to Italy? How much is the villa you want to stay in? How much are all of the excursions? how much is food gonna cost? Then step three is figure out by when do you need this money? So let's say you want to pay it for this trip in full in six months from today. You know it's gonna cost $20,000. Now you know exactly how much you need to come up with extra every single month to save up for this trip that you can buy in six months. This process works for other dreams too. Like let's say buying your dream car. Go build your dream car on the company's website. Add all of the bells and whistles you want, everything you can think of from heated leather seats to heads up display and completely price it out. Figure out the exact dollar amount that it would cost you to buy this car. Let's say you price it out and it would have a monthly car payment of $2,000 a month. So now you can start thinking about, you know, side hustles or other sources of income or things that you can do in order to achieve this goal. I have to say I'm personally a huge advocate for side hustles. I honestly just think it is so smart to have multiple streams of income because we are always going to be disposable to the companies that we work for. And if you're trying to make a little bit of extra cash to afford some of these, you know, dream car, dream vehicle, vacation, dream home, whatever, then I personally think that building up side hustles is a really solid way to go. Side hustles can range from things like dog walking, starting a YouTube channel like me, building a rental property portfolio, to things like starting an Etsy shop. And by the way, if you are considering starting an Etsy shop, make sure you check out Everbee. Everbee is a powerful product research tool designed for Etsy sellers. Their dynamic software equips Etsy sellers with a suite of powerful tools and features, making it easier and more efficient to navigate the competitive world of online retail. At its core, Everbee functions as an all-encompassing e-commerce management system. It simplifies tasks like inventory management, order processing, and customer relationship management. With Everbee, Etsy sellers can effortlessly track their products, process orders seamlessly, and build strong connections with their customer base. In the saturated Etsy marketplace, this kind of streamlined functionality is a game changer, empowering entrepreneurs to thrive. Everbee's standout feature is its robust analytics and reporting capabilities. It offers Etsy sellers valuable insights into their business performance, enabling data-driven decision-making. By analyzing crucial metrics like sales trends, customer behavior, and product popularity, sellers can optimize their listings and marketing strategies. Such a data-driven approach significantly enhances the success potential of Etsy sellers, ensuring that their products reach the right audience and sell more effectively. Moreover, Everbee offers effortless integration with Etsy's platform, enabling sellers to synchronize their product listings and inventory effortlessly. This not only saves time, but also minimizes the risk of over or underselling. Everbee is poised to be a game changer for Etsy sellers. With its tools for inventory management, order processing, and customer relationship management, combined with powerful analytics and reporting capabilities, Everbee empowers Etsy sellers to make data-driven decisions and optimize their businesses for success. Its seamless integration with the Etsy platform and commitment to customer support and education set it apart in a crowded market. If you're already an Etsy seller or or considering even just starting an Etsy shop, I highly, highly recommend checking out Everbee. I have included a link to sign up down in my description box as well as in the pinned comment down below. So if you are even considering starting an Etsy shop, make sure you guys go check them out and thank you again to Everbee for sponsoring today's video. Really all it takes is just starting to take the first step. If your goal is to be financially free, you know, not working a nine to five, maybe it's that you need to start investing in a stock market portfolio, or maybe it's that you really need to work on your budget 
budget, reverse budgeting, and prioritizing living below your means. By the way, if you want to see how I plan my budget and how I figure out how much money I can put into savings and investments, I actually just made a video, I think the last one prior to this one, on what I spend in a month and how I am setting up my budget. So if you're curious, make sure you go check out that video. But maybe instead your main dream in life is to meet your dream partner. Similarly to these other things that I've been talking about, maybe it's you take small steps every day towards putting yourself out there, putting yourself in situations to meet new people, going to networking events, hanging out with friends, or even putting yourself out there and being on dating apps. The reality is that if you want to meet the person of your dreams, you can't do nothing. So the point on this step is once you have identified what you want from step one, now you need to create actionable steps that you can take to achieve these dreams. Break them down into bite-sized pieces so that you can figure out exactly what you need to do in order to achieve your dreams. All right, so now step three. This one is arguably the hardest one, but this step is to be persistent, be consistent, be disciplined. Okay, so you've determined what you want, you're crystal clear on the things that you desire, and you have outlined exactly what steps you need to take in order to get there. Now you must be persistent. This one is so important to me and has always really stuck with me because when I actually started my previous side hustle, Ballard Bikini, I remember when I had my first like big product launch, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to make, you know, $5,000 on my first day. And I did a ton of marketing, was building it up on Instagram. I think I ended up selling on my launch day, like $500 worth of inventory. And it was all just my friends. Like it was like five people that I knew bought a hundred dollars worth of stuff. <laughs> I was so, so, so disappointed when that happened. And I could have been like, you know what, this this isn't working. Maybe I should just give up. Maybe this wasn't right for me. I could have just quit right then, but I didn't. Then I did another launch the next year and I was like, okay, my goal here is to maybe just get like a thousand dollars. Like let's be a little bit more realistic about my goals. My second launch, I did about $2,000 in a day. So that was like very, very exciting. And then on the final year of, you know, doing Valor Bikini, which was in 2021, I had my first launch day and I made over $17,000 in one single day from my product launch launch that year. All of this is to say that if I had given up on Valor Bikini after my first launch of only making $500, I never would have been able to scale the brand to having over 10,000 Instagram followers and making $17,000 on a single launch day. So I think that this one can be so tough because it's really hard when you have these, you know, super ambitious goals and they're just not happening right away. It can be really easy to give up. You know, your YouTube growth is slow. Maybe you're super excited about getting, you know, invested in the stock market, building stock market portfolio and all of a sudden the market stalls and your money's not growing at all. Maybe your first rental property is just not flipping as fast as you wanted it to, or you kick off a new side hustle and you're not making any money. But you must remember that good things take time. And to be completely honest with you guys, the only way to make sure that your dreams do not happen is to give up on them. So keep working on them, keep believing in them. And honestly, this is why it's so important to write down the goals that you want or have a vision board, because when you get discouraged, you can go back to your vision board and reconnect connect with why you wanted, you know, that beach house in Hawaii or why you wanted that dream car or why you wanted to go on that luxury trip to Italy. Stay connected to your goals and do not give up. Also, I want to tell you guys that you will face challenges during this time and you will risk being unpopular. People will tell you that you're not going to make money from your side hustle. People will tell you that being a YouTuber is not a real job. I have experienced that one a lot. People will tell you that investing in rental property is way too expensive and you're probably just going to lose money. People will tell you that the stock market is a horrible way to invest your money. People will tell you to settle for the mediocre guy that you met at the house party, even though you know that he's not just quite the right fit for you. Or people will tell you that the ridiculously nice car that you want is pretentious. Just remember that everyone is always gonna have something to say and they're really only going to judge you until you make it. And once you make it, they're gonna be like, please tell me how you did that. So dream big, take actionable steps to achieve your dreams and then be persistent and do not give up. All right, you guys, I think that's everything I wanted to leave you with today. I hope you found this video inspirational and maybe encourage you to go for it with your dreams, whatever they might be. If you did like this video, make sure you loop that little thumbs up button because it helps me know what videos to make for you guys, what videos you guys like to see from me and just helps me make better content for you. Also, if you have any other, you know, tips, tricks, steps to achieving your dream life, please do let me know in the comments because I am always working on my own life, how to make it better, be more successful and carry out my dreams. But that is it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will catch up with you next time. Bye.